This question seems quite daunting at first, but actually if you break it down it's quite simple. So we're going to work out the um, people, is it students? So we're going to work out students first. And then what I'm going to do on the right hand side is work out the merit points. So the students we've got are James. Now James has X merit points. That's nice and simple. Sarah has four times as many as James. So Sarah, if James has X, is going to have four X merit points. Robert has 53 fewer. So Robert is going to have James's X, but take away 53. Okay, next thing I want to focus on is the merits. Well, it says the the merits are worth that amount um, in total, and each merit's worth that amount. So, what I'm going to do first of all is convert that uh, that into pence. So we've got one thousand seven hundred and forty nine pence, and if each of them is worth three pence, I can divide it by three to work out how many merit points. And if, it's, if you've got a calculator, you can just type that in. If it's in the non calculator, then we can use the bus stop method. So 1749, 3 into 1 don't go, 3 into 17 go 5, carry the 2, 3 into 24 go 8, 3 into 9 go 3. So that's 383, uh, sorry, 583. Now it says here that they're, all three of the students have a total of. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add James's to Sarah's and to Robert's. So we're going to add them together. And they're going to equal 583. So when I collect like terms on the left-hand side, x plus 4x plus x is 6x minus 53 equals 583. Now when we solve equations, we always get rid of the plus or minus first, as long as there's no brackets or fractions. So to get rid of that minus 53, I need to do the opposite, which is add 53. So we've got 6x left on this side. Now we need to do 583 plus 53. So 3 plus 3 is 6. 8 plus 5 is 13 and 5 plus 1 is 6, so 636. And to get rid of the x here, that's a times x, so I need to divide both sides by x. So we're left with x on the left-hand side. Um, now this is going to be quite a simple bus stop method, but I'm going to do it anyway. So 6, 3, 6. So 6 into 6 go 1, 6 into 3 don't go, 6 into 36 go 6. So it's 106. So x is worth 106. So James has 106. Now Sarah has four times as many. So that's going to be 424. And Robert has 53 less. So 106 take away 53. So 6 take away 3 is 3. 10 take away 5 is 5, so that's going to be 53. Now if you've got time left in the end of the exam, you can add them together and see if they add up to 583, which they should.